guys, it has happened. Remember the Timothy Adegoke case? We have not settled it all. Because now something even more interesting is happening. You know how the founder of Hilton Hotels himself, Dr. Adedoin Abdurrahman, you know how he declined and said they did not know anything about it. CCTV footage from the hotel room, it is missing. We don't know anything. Finally, we have laid our hands on the CCTV footage. And if I tell you the things that we found on this, okay. Not me, but the things that they found on this footage, and I am privy of, oh my goodness, you will be shocked. Before I get into it, just subscribe to this channel because you know that we give you all the gist concerning this Abdurrahman case. Are they doing the Timothy Adigoke, 34 year old OAU student that was murdered in Hilton Hotel Zilefe? That's the gist. Subscribe so you will not miss further updates. Now, what is the content of this CCTV footage you want to ask me? There are three people, very recognizable people in that footage. The first person is Moshud. Now, Moshud is a close associate of Dr. Abdurrahman Adedoin. And this man has been insistent that his proprietor, his friend, his boss has no idea of what was happening or that Adedoin is such a good man in the society. We know the kind of person he is. We know that he can never and will never you know, be involved in something like killing somebody for whatever reason. Now, we saw Moshud enter that room. 12 a.m. Please make it make sense. Okay, I'm not going to be judgmental. I'm not going to say what I think or anything about it. But then the footage shows that by 12 a.m., after that man had successfully lodged into that hotel and already paid money to the receptionist, the Kende, instead of the um, hotel account, Moshud entered, followed shortly by Dr. Abdurrahman Adedoin himself, right? And then the person that is supposed to manage the hotel, who is Dr. Adedoin's own son, Abdurrahim Adedoin, who is, by the way, missing, and we are looking for him. The three of them entered into the hotel room. And you know how hotel policies are for our security as guests. We don't have, there are no CCTV, you know, cameras inside of the room. So we do not know what happened inside of the room. Only that few minutes later, the three of them emerged. Please note, when they were going into the room, they had nothing on them, right? But then when they got in, a few minutes later, these guys came out of this hotel room. Tell me what they brought out of this hotel room when they were coming out. Do you want to know? A package. I'll call it a package because I don't know if it's the dead or the living body of Timothy Adegoke that was carried out of that thing. They held the package, you know, it was bound and then they wrapped something around uh, something with the duvet of the room and then they took that thing out, suspected to be added, um, Timothy Adegoke's body. They took it out, then they put it in another carpet outside uh, in, into another carton outside the box, then they bound that box, then they deposited it into the trunk of a waiting vehicle. You see where I'm going? Then they zoomed out of the hotel room. And it is said that everything, all the evidence against Dr. Abdurrahman are they doing is done. I mean, the police unit have done their own individual investi <laughs> investigation. I mean, I don't even know what to call, to call this particular man as a man, Oriyomi Hamzad, who has been following this case from the beginning, from the inception. He's gone to Abuja, he's followed his ad interview with Bade Adegoke, that is Timothy Adegoke, Adegoke's older brother. When that man was almost kidnapped, he was there, he was one of the witnesses, he's had meetings with the widow of Timothy Adegoke. That is the man giving us the gist. It was the same man that gave us the autopsy reports when it was released from the coroner's office. It was the person that gave us that gist right so it's all that is telling us everything that they found in cctv footage and to even make matters even interesting i mean okay there are two caveats i'll get to that later but the first one i want to let you know is that dr abdurrahman are doing his lawyer is now on um Oriyomi hamzat he's saying that they are going to sue him because well uh, some evidence is you know they felt like that, that the evidence should be taken to court first before we have knowledge of what the thing is right but this man already came out to tell us so he says he's going to sue him for i don't know what for whatever reason maybe because he's tampering with evidence but i don't think he's tampering with anything in my own opinion but he says he wants to sue oriyomi amzat because of the way he's so much invested and interested in timothy adego case case now the second thing i was going to say is also that People that are associated in this case, because now it's been transferred to a court in Oshobo, that is where Dr. Abdurrahman Adedoin is going to be tried. He's going to stand trial for murder. Himself, the Moshud guy, the three people that were identified in that footage are going to be tried for murder. That is Moshud, there's Abdurrahim, and there's Abdurrahman Adedoin. Meanwhile, Abdurrahim and Moshud are on the run. We don't know where they are. It is said that Abdurrahim is in Ghana. His father actually 
own some establishment, a university and what have you in Ghana. So it is said that Abdul Rahim fled to Ghana when the case happened because the father figured, I mean, I'm a big person in the society. I can get away with something like this. I just have to say, oh, check her, you know, history, you would not find any of such amounts of money transferred from a certain Timothy Adigo K. never lodged in his hotel, and the case will go away. They do not know that it was going to get, you know, this messy. Now, Abdurrahim is on the run. Moshud is also on the run. We don't know where he is. Another person that is on the run is Kende. Kende is an accomplice. He was a receptionist that checked Timothy Adigo K. into Hilton Hotels and Resorts. Into Hilton Resort Hotel. That's what it's called. She was the one that checked in, in him, and the money that he paid for the room for the night was sent into our account rather than being sent to the account of the establishment. You get what I'm trying to say? And this lady earns 200,000 naira as a receptionist in an hotel in Ilayfair, Ocean State. If you know anything about salary range, you would know that a receptionist ordinarily does not earn up to that amount. So it is said that this girl is an accomplice because the money she's been paid is actually money to shut her up so that she would not say, you know, what she knows. Well, she knows but that is why they are, that they are paying her that amount of money so now they are looking for the three of them we know the content of the cctv footage we actually now know what has happened to timothy adegoke and now that we know what has happened to timothy adegoke what is the actual ne next line of action it is actually going to be to bury the body of timothy adegoke because this man has not been laid to rest his body has just been somewhere you know they've been trying to put to actually know what has happened to this man first before they will decide to bury him so we are going to then bury timothy Adegoki in Erowa in Ocean State where he is from and it is said that his burial is going to be sort of a mini protest against ritual killing you get what I mean and so they are going to be wearing black t-shirts with the inscription justice for Timothy written on it because that is to call on hotelia that is to call on the body that are responsible for these things to ensure that we can be safe actually in hotels and not have to worry about our life and worry if you're going to get the fate of Timothy Adegoke a young man who has a wife and children I mean little kids that he left behind just in the bid to make ends meet to earn more, I mean, trying to get a master's degree so that his income will increase, he's a burden in his family, and not nobody will suffer that kind of fate anymore, right? So it's going to be sort of a mini protest according to what Oriyomi Hamzad has been saying. I'm just giving you the report of everything going on with Timothy Adegoke, the 34-year-old man that was first declared missing on the 5th of November 2021, and then on the 7th of November 2021, his body was recovered at a shallow grave, in a shallow grave, dug close to Hilton Resort and Hotel, and his body was wrapped in a duvet that bears the signage of Hilton Hotels and Resort. Dr. Abdurrahman Adidu is still in custody. I mean, from Abuja, has been transferred. It was taken from Ife to Oshobo to Abuja, and now back to Oshobo, where it's going to be standing trial for the murder of Timothy Adegoke. That is the update concerning that case. Don't worry, whenever there is something new, trust me, I'm going to be giving you that. You see my face, I'll give you a first. Don't worry, you're just going to get it just from me. Don't go anywhere. Just subscribe to this channel, like I've said, and also turn on the bell button so that you will not miss when I have new uploads. Well, it's been a pleasure. Share this video with one to three people, people that are interested in seeing justice being served for Timothy Adegoke and his family. Share this video with them and also watch it. Like it if you enjoy it too though. Bye!